Okay, here's how to create a Facebook quiz ad and track conversions for leads that come through the quiz using the Facebook pixel. I'm going to walk you through how I have this set up on my site and then how I set up the custom conversion pixel so that it will fire when someone reaches an outcome of a quiz, which means they have opted in if you have lead generation turned on and it is required. We do recommend leaving lead generation optional, which will mean that some people could reach those outcome pages without opting in. But if you would like to make it required, then you can do that. So I'm gonna share my screen, walk you through this front to back. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is embed your quiz onto your site. I recommend using yoursite.com slash quiz, embed the quiz there. Now you can use the quiz URL without embedding it on your site if you prefer that, but then when you share the ad, it's going to show tryinteract.com as the source because that is the URL of our quizzes. If you embed it on your site, then it will show your site.com slash quiz or whatever because it will be on your site or actually it'll just show your URL. That's the case here where I have it under joshhanum.com slash quiz. That is my website slash quiz. And so over here, when I preview the ads, it shows my URL, and here is a preview of my ad for my chat GPT quiz. So that's the first step, embed on your site and have it under slash quiz or whatever URL you wanna use. Second step is you're going to create outcome pages. So these are the outcomes that someone could see at the end of your quiz. Typically there's two, three, four, five, six of these, however many you have. These are the outcomes that are shown at the end, and you're gonna put them on your site as well. So here you see, I have joshhanum.com slash quiz dash result, and then the name of the result. Now the key word here that I'm including is result, the word result. And I'm going to include that keyword in every outcome of my quiz, as long as I don't have that keyword included on any other pages on my site, because when I create my custom conversion, I'm going to base it on the fact that the URL contains the word result. So you can filter your custom conversion to filter by URL and only if the URL contains a key word. I'm going to use the word result. You can use your own word. I recommend just using results because it's not a very common uh, word that you would use in other URLs and it's simple to follow. So here you'll see I have one result that says significant savings, one that says moderate savings, and one that says minimal savings. Now, these pages are set up from my website builder, not in Interact. So these can be set up however you want and you can make them look however you would like them to look and include buttons and all that kind of good stuff. So it's actually an advantage in that sense. Now, in order to make sure that my results redirect to those pages instead of showing the default Interact quiz results, I go into my Interact Quiz Builder, I go to Results, and then I click on Redirect Results, and I have these redirecting here to my URLs. Make sure to put the HTTPS colon slash slash before the URL so that works properly, and then save. Now I'm going to publish this, and I embedded it on the page. I'm not going to show that here. We have separate articles and videos on that. Now, in order to create the custom conversion event inside of your ads manager, you'll go to all tools, events manager, and then under events manager, you will go to custom conversions. And here's my custom conversion that says results, result reached. Now, the way that I set this up is I click create custom conversion. I give it a name, I give it a description. The event that I'm choosing is just all URL traffic. And then the rule that I'm adding here is that add URL keywords. So the keyword I'm gonna add is results because again, my results, if you remember, they all have the word result in it. Now, that means that if somebody reaches one of the results of my quiz, they're going to activate this custom conversion and it's going to show that I have reached the results. So that's how you do it. You set up your quiz, to be embedded on your site.com slash quiz. You set up each of your outcome pages to be on your site.com slash something, something that includes the word result in it. And then you set up a custom conversion that says 
if the URL contains results, then somebody has reached this conversion. And that is how you can track whether somebody has opted in through your quiz if you have lead generation on and required. Again, I do recommend leaving it optional, which will mean that some people could reach that without you know, opting in, but you can very easily look inside of the interact analytics and see how many people are skipping versus not skipping and quickly work that math out. I think it's just a better experience to leave it optional, but it is up to you. If you want to make it required, then you will be able to track your conversions exactly using this method.